guys, so today we're going to be wrapping up the Marvel Legends Avengers Endgame Wave 2 with the Builder figure Hulk. So the version of Hulk that we get is from a particular scene in the movie where they go back in time and Hulk rips his shirt off to blend, kind of blend in in the Battle of New York. So you do get some hair detail on his chest, which I think is pretty nice. It does come with two heads, so you get the smiling uh, Hulk there, which he smiles a lot in this movie. <laughs> and then you get the more somber head down there. But I think I'm going to leave him displayed with the smiling head, because that's the way I like to see him. Now, in terms of the figure articulation, you do have the torso pivot and waist swivel. Legs go back about that much. Got a little bit of ankle pivot going on there. Arms are pretty massive. His hands are huge. <laughs> you can see he has one fist up and he has one open hand. I think they could have done a better job on the head because it looks like it's just stuck on there, on the side there. I am glad that they added in the gray detail though. That was a nice touch, but it's just looking at it straight on the head. You can see that it's just kind of glued on there. So I think they could have done a better job with that. But other than that, the face details are pretty spot on with the movie, I'd say. Here we have the back of Hulk. And now we're going to compare him to a previous version of Hulk that was released. And here he is with the Avengers Age of Ultron Hulk. And you can see the height difference. And I'm a little surprised by that, that they made him taller. It's something that I also noticed with the War Machine figure. He was way taller than the other two versions of him that I had. So it's a little surprising that they went up in scale, but I'm not complaining. I think Hulk should be big, and maybe he wasn't big enough. I don't know. You guys let me know what you think in the comments. I do like the color green that they went with. Um, it's a more vibrant green than this dull green that we get over here. But, you know, overall, it's a, it's a good Build-A-Figure. Um, I would have preferred, obviously, to have him in a different suit, but I'm sure... We're probably gonna get another version of Hulk coming out, maybe in a, in a two pack or something. At some point, I'm sure they're gonna release him in the suit that he was wearing uh, in the majority of the movie. For one more comparison, just so you guys can get a decent idea of how this figure scales, we have him next to the Hulk Buster, the Mad Titan Thanos, as well as Thor from the Infinity War wave. And so height-wise, I think this new Hulk figure matches up a lot better with the Hulk Buster as well as Thanos. So, happy to see that. So with that said, I'm going to go ahead and close out this video. I hope you guys enjoyed the Build-A-Figure Hulk. And the next video I'm going to be doing will be a recap of the entire wave where I'll rank them from my least favorite to my favorite. So you definitely want to stay tuned for that. I'll also be giving more details on the upcoming Professor X giveaway. I want to thank all of the new subs that I've got through out this wave. It was pretty amazing that I uh, started out, I think, around 19 subscribers and ended with over 100 plus by the time I got to this Build-A-Figure. So I just want to thank you guys for your continued support, and I'll see you on the next video.